Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and I'm inviting you to wake up and live. And today I am not coming from my normal background, and I am using my phone. Um, I have attempted to make a video multiple times um, last weekend as well as this weekend, and I've kind of just decided maybe it's not the subject to talk about right now. So, um, instead I am coming on to, um, to share my experience with energy healing, um, this last week. I'm the kind of person that always thinks everything's my fault. So when the idea, um, of the mirror came and that everything that happens in your experience is because of something that happens inside of you. I was like, oh yeah, that makes complete sense because yeah, I don't know. It just, it went on that part of me that just is a guilt trip person anyway. Um, I actually have had like severe meltdowns over the concept and it, like for the last few weeks, I've kind of been thinking maybe, maybe this isn't mine. Maybe the energy that's creating some of the experiences I'm having are not actually, is not actually my energy. And um, I really kind of was resisting that because I was like, well, you know, I had to create it somehow or anything, something like that. But because of that belief that I create everything, which is not necessarily wrong, but there is opposition in all things. So because of that, I was not willing to look at other sources. Now, if you've followed me for a while, you know that I will occasionally talk about my home. Um, I have figured out where in my home feels like it is my money area. When I did it by a room, I came up with an area that had my son's stuff in it. And I was like, somebody else's energy money beliefs are in my money. Um, like it was like my money story is intertwined with somebody else's money story. And I tried to like heal it and clear it and it wasn't working. Um, when I was looking specifically at my bedroom, I had an area and other people's money stuff was like and other people's stuff was in that area of my room. And even when I would clean it up, other people's stuff would end up in that area of the room. And so I had this message that, other people's energy is affecting my money. And yet I wasn't listening to it. Um, I did a trade this last week with somebody who um, does relationship work. And so I said, here's a relationship that I have that I have not been able to resolve. I've been working on it for a very long time and I just can't figure out what's wrong. Um, he looked at my energy and my energy was good and fine. But I had like these attachments and these cords and this kind of controlling energy coming, coming from this other person that um, he had multiple versions of this, these kind of energies coming from that person that he had to take care of as well as um, some premortal relationships that contributed or were similar. So yes, there is a part of me that attracted that kind of energy. Um, I came into the world with it. But by just looking at myself, I wasn't able to take care of it. I had to um, engage somebody else to look at the relationship and they didn't have that same belief that only I, that I created everything. And so they were able to look at this other relationship and heal it. Um, they did that on Thursday and on Friday, for the first time in years, I was able to tell this person that I loved them. I was able to do things that I have longed to do for a long time, but just could not do. And no matter how much I tried, and it was very frustrating for me. But just that energy work that this person did for me was able to allow me to actually step in and that and say, yes, I love you. And um, it... I felt amazing. I haven't felt like that, like this dark 
energy pushing me down. And that's what I felt for years is like, it didn't matter if I tried to climb up, if I tried to make things better, I was just going to have something push me down. And I don't feel that anymore. Um, so yes, we create our experiences. There was some part of me that was aligned with that. But sometimes you've got to look at other things and other people and what they're doing to contribute it. I, I talk about our houses contributing to our energy, um, and yet I wasn't willing to look at the people's contribution. And then when that is cleared up, then you can go in and look at what created it in the first place, which in this particular case was definitely before birth, before this life. So that's kind of what I wanted to share with you today. Um, I'm like kind of amazed. I've stepped into some different attitudes and beliefs. I'm now calling myself a house intuitive. It's kind of like being a medical intuitive um, for houses. And um, but I also can work on the energy of people if um, I find that always it's always been this way that when I'm working with people, I kind of know how it affects their house and how their house affects their energy more than um, like say health thing. I really struggle with healing health things, but when it comes to the house and um, some kind of connection to house, I really can. So it's really interesting. Um, and I'm excited now without this heavy energy. Um, he actually sensed a um, connection to my forehead from this other, in this other relationship that was like some really bad cord that was really um, sending a lot of negative energy in, and that other person wasn't ready for it to be taken care of, but I am, so it's gone now on my side, and I don't feel that pushing down anymore, and it's pretty amazing. I love what energy work can do, and I love that I have the skills. I love that I have the ability to heal energy, to heal people, to heal, heal families. It's incredible. And now that I don't feel that pressure coming down, I'm excited to see where this is going and what I can do with it. So hopefully you got some amazing message out of that. I'm not sure if there was a lot of a message in there. Um, I mean, there's a message there, but I just don't know how clear it is. And I just, I'm keeping my commitment to myself to make a video today. So thank you guys for watching and I'm sorry the lighting is horrible and everything but hopefully this week I will have my little area to do videos for my computer again um thank you guys for watching remember to let your light shine big bright life and beautiful and I'll see you guys next time